No stock analysis today, folks, but what I wanted to talk about was a small, I guess a small little rant from what seems to be one of the dumbest statements I've ever seen from a, an employee from Bank of America saying, don't pretty much says Bank of America says SP 500 is the worst thing to hold right now and buy these four top sectors to avoid confusion. She says she's a fan of Warren Buffett's long-term investment strategy of holding SP 500 because he's recommended that for a lot of investors. And you know, I'm a huge supporter of this investment the uh, thesis and something that I actually do as well. Uh, the SP 500 is pretty much the backbone of my entire portfolio and it should be for a lot of yours as well personally because it takes a lot of the headaches out of um, the investing process and this lady here says i'll pull up the article take a look at this um look at this so the worst thing to do is a whole sp 500 wholesale she tells cnbc uh right now is it expensive and it's super crowded now listen guys when you're buying the S&P 500 index fund, most likely you are going to be dollar cost averaging or your lump sum investing when it goes down. But just because the price has been going higher doesn't mean that you're not buying. If you're on a dollar cost averaging system, you are purchasing the same amount of stock or from a dollar's perspective every single month or every single week, however you have set it up. And if you want more clarification on that, I've actually done a video with another excellent YouTuber called Finance Talk. His name is Eugene and he runs this amazing channel. And you can watch that video here. And uh, we talk about the differences between dollar cost averaging as well as lump sum investing when it comes to the S&P 500. But this lady here is saying it is terrible and it's bad to own the S&P 500. And you should go into, let's say, small cap. ETFs and stuff like that, which is not an entirely bad idea. However, to completely give up on the S&P 500 is somewhat foolish. So if you are an investor and you're reading this article or getting wind of not wanting to go into the S&P 500 because it's crowded, it's expensive, it's absolutely stupid. You're most likely your time horizon and it should be 10 plus years if you have a 10 plus years time horizon this will feel like a nothing to you because there'll be moments in time where you're purchasing this etf or this index for less and there'll be moments like now where you're purchasing it for more as long as you keep purchasing the same amount month in month out and dollar cost average in your investment will grow over time and that's been proven time and time again through history and if you backlog it and the top investors are behind this strategy and I can't say that enough. I don't talk about it enough in my videos. I usually just do one-on-one -on -one stock analysis videos based off of um, just companies on their own. But majority of the companies that I do analyze are part of the S&P 500. These are the top 500 largest companies in the US economy. This is the index for the US economy. So if you believe that the US will improve year over year, month over month, and their economy will get stronger, then why not buy this fund? It just boggles my mind that there's some articles being published on Yahoo Finance saying, hey, ignore the advice of Warren Buffett, a multi-billion dollar uh, net worth investor who's giving sound advice and other investors in the same bracket also agreeing with him my um overall thoughts on this article i think it's stupid and if you're watching this right now and you have a long-term horizon great stick with the long-term horizon stick with buying the sp 500 and use my channel as and my research as a uh, at least some sort of guidepost to certain companies within the s p 500 if you're only sticking to the s p 500 that's all right too, because it does take away a lot of the headaches that other investments may cause because there's a lot more research involved when you're just dialing into one on individual companies. But with the index, you don't have to think about any of that because you're just buying a basket of stocks. So this lady here that's saying that says, don't buy the SP 500 because it's expensive. Don't listen to her. It's absolutely nonsense. And she brings up some other points of some sectors that are doing well. But her horizon is now taken to effect over the next 12 months. Think long term. It takes away 
the speed bump that you might face in the next 12 months and it flattens it out so yeah completely moronic so that, anyways folks that's a quick video i wanted to talk to you about today because i think the sp500 or like any index fund like spy or vu or however you, you invest into the u.s economy is a great backbone for your portfolio and just to keep a long-term horizon for it anyways folks that's the video i'll see you in the next one